Hey guys, welcome back. It's Matt from Adventure Cruiser and I've got something a little bit exciting. It's a foreshadowing of things to come, but I'm trying to test a bunch of multiband portable radios. And this one just came in. This is the Kenwood VP8000 multiband. It does VHF, UHF, and 7800. Um, and I want to compare it to the APX8000. In this case, it's an XE or the BKR 9000, which is my current favorite. Now, there are a few things that I can compare immediately um, and a few things that I won't be able to for quite a while. And the reason for that is even though I ordered the cable to program this and bought a license of Armada, the programming software, um, I don't have those yet. I just have the radio. So a few things that I can point out that are major differences are that the Kenwood still has a speaker right above the, or the display and it has a belt clip on the back. Whereas the APX and the BKR have the speaker on the back. Now they all have this little hammerhead design and um, I've been led to believe that the reason for the hammerhead design and um, the way that the speakers are on the back and the display on the front is due to certain procurement documents such as Customs and Border Protection, and that their procurement process basically reads like a brochure for the APX line. Now, they have currently gone to a different radio. I believe they're using the Harris radios now. But that type of procurement request has caused other radio manufacturers to mimic this style. Now, I don't know who started it. I'm not saying that it's Motorola necessarily. But the point is, is that is the style where it kind of is a firm grasp. Now, let's talk about something else that I can comment on, and that is the layout. Now, the Kenwood has the clear and encrypted switch on top, and it's a lateral toggle. The APX has it here under the channel selector, and the BK has it here under the volume and power button. The Kenwood also has a four position selector. The Motorola has a three position selector here. These are both programmable and the BKR has a four position as well. Now, my first impressions are just that, first impressions, okay? I've turned this radio on, I've played with it just a little bit, but I can't use it in a real radio setting until I get the programming software for it. So is it enough to overtake the APX or become my new favorite for the BKR 9000? Well, my impressions are at the moment, no, it is not good enough yet. And here's why. Kenwood basically has said, no, we are not going to support non-affiliate scanning whatsoever. It's kind of like Motorola as well, but Motorola's is less locked down even than Kenwood. Kenwood says, no, not a chance. BKR 9000? You want to do non-affiliate scan? No problem. Super simple, super easy. I've even got a video on how to do it. Then you get the menus. Motorola, the menus are very locked down. You only get a few menu items and they populate on the bottom of the screen as you cycle through them. BKR, once you enable them in Res, the radio editing software, you've got a massive menu and it's incredible what you can control. In some ways, it's akin to a ham radio with how many features you can control directly from the menu. However, because the screen has such great resolution, you can have a very dense menu with clear descriptions, not acronyms or um, conjugations that make no sense, right? The other thing about the Kenwood is that it does DMR. That's something that neither of these do. But I'm hearing rumors that BKR or the BK Technologies might be working on a DMR version for the BKR 9000, which I think would be really cool. So if you are a fan of BK like me, I think you need to uh, voice your opinion a little bit on their Instagram, their on um, X, formerly Twitter, um, on YouTube, asking them to put DMR in here. I mean, come on, ask politely, but I think that would be really cool. Kenwood does offer. DMR, and that is a big perk for this radio. I bought this one with P25, DMR, and analog, 
but I believe you can get the Kenwood Next In and I think one other as an option, but I have no need for those. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. But why don't you tell me what features you want to see compared? I'm not sure it's good enough to displace the BKR as my daily carry. But I want to make sure I test it thoroughly. Well, that's all I got for you today. Take care.